Welcome everyone, here is how you transfer eSIM from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. The first step is we need to verify if our new iPhone is on the setup screen or if we already set it up. In order to verify this, click the lock button once, then click it again. So, if you see this hello screen show up, this means your iPhone hasn't been set up yet. If you see this regular lock screen, then your iPhone has been set up. If you have not set up your iPhone, you need to go through the on-screen menus until you see here, set up mobile service. If you've already set up your iPhone, that's okay. We just need to go into the settings app. We're then gonna find where it says mobile data and you're gonna see the setup mobile service option. Now, whether or not you're on the setup screen or already set up your iPhone, you're gonna get the exact same message, set up mobile service. So now leave your new iPhone on a screen and we need to take a look at the old iPhone. So on the old iPhone, we need to set this up so that we can transfer the eSIM from this old iPhone to the new one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the settings app. From here, you're gonna find where it says general. You're then gonna find about. If your software version is 15 or older, you must upgrade to the new iOS 16, otherwise you cannot transfer the eSIM. If your iOS version is 16 or any newer software, you're good to go. To update to the latest software, you go out of the about section, tap on software update, and then download the brand new iOS 16. Now, once we have verified we are on iOS 16, head over to the home page of settings, you're then going to see the Bluetooth option. Tap on Bluetooth and just make sure Bluetooth is turned on. If it's off, just tap on the toggle to turn it on. Also make sure you see here, now discoverable as, and then your iPhone model. Now we're almost there. The final thing is we must restart our iPhone. This is because when we start the transfer process, there is a chance that the old iPhone may not recognize that the new iPhone wants to have the old iPhone's eSIM. So a restart will always prevent this issue from occurring. Go to the home page of the settings app. You're then gonna find general. Then you're gonna see here, shut down, tap on this one, and then you're gonna slide to power off. Once the iPhone is off, you want to wait 10 to 15 seconds and only after the 15 second wait, you're now gonna press and hold the power button until you see an Apple logo show up. Once you see the Apple logo, don't press any buttons and just wait for your iPhone to start up. Now the old iPhone has been restarted. We're going to unlock the old iPhone and we're gonna leave this old iPhone on the home screen. Now go back to your new iPhone and you're gonna see here, transfer from nearby iPhone. Now we can tap on this one and instantly you're gonna have the option to transfer the phone number. If you didn't follow the previous steps, this option may not show up. That's why the earlier steps were important. So now you're gonna tap on continue. Now we can see here verification code and you see enter verification code. So from here, you're gonna enter in the verification code you see on your new iPhone, enter that one on your old iPhone. So I'm gonna search 510130. Now, in my case, I see there are no phone numbers available to transfer from another iPhone. This is because I do not have eSIM set up in this old iPhone. But if you do have eSIM set up in your old iPhone, you should see phone numbers found or set up mobile service, and then you'll be able to tap on continue and it will transfer the eSIM successfully from your old iPhone to your new iPhone without any issues. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.